Uh, hi again, and we are at the Global Oncotone. We are continuing. Uh, already 10 hours we are live, and uh, we uh, today is the International Childhood Cancer Day, and from the early morning we are raising awareness about the uh, importance of pediatric cancer, uh, uh, pediatric cancer uh, drug development, about the importance of uh, uh, bringing more clinical trials in the pediatric oncology field. We are trying to raise awareness about the challenges different countries are facing uh, all over the world in the field of pediatric oncology. And from early morning, we have uh, distinguished guests from various countries with their own problems. And right now we are coming to the, our next session. Uh, yeah, And uh, by the way, of course, the Oncotone from the name also, it's understandable that we're raising uh, uh, raising uh, funds for uh, for pediatric cancer research so please donate um, and uh, you can go on, on uh, through the QR code or through the onco daily website you can find the donation button and donate for the for this cause even your small donation would make a big difference um, so coming to our next uh, wonderful speakers. Uh, I, it's a great honor for me to introduce uh, Her Excellency Dr. Zainab Shinkafi Bagudu, who, uh, who is the chair of the First Ladies uh, Against Cancer Initiative. And she's a global, a very well-known global cancer advocate, a pediatrician, UICC board member, founder of the Medicaid Cancer Foundation. Uh, and she is uh, in Nigeria doing amazing things, uh, raising, uh, raising uh, awareness about cancer and doing a lot of charities. And uh, she is also on the editorial board of Uncle Daily, and we are honored to have her today with us. Your Excellency, you are uh, online. We can hear you and we can see you. Good, mo good afternoon from Abuja. It's a pleasure to be here. I think my screen is... Hi, thank you very much for joining well us. Well done. You've had a very busy day. Well done. And uh, we've been following on and off and a lot of learning. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Let me introduce also our next guest and then I'm going to give you the first floor. Okay? And um, our next uh, guest is uh, Ms. Esther Demirjan, who is the CEO of uh, City of Smile Charitable Foundation, which is the largest cancer charity in Armenia. And under uh, Ms. Demirjan's leadership, the charity became the largest in Armenia, and it's covering the diagnosis and treatment and the whole continuum of care of all kids and young adults up to the age of 25 years in Armenia. Welcome, everyone, and thank you very much for being with us today. Without further ado, I'm going to give the floor to Her Excellency, Dr. Zainab, and uh, the floor is yours. Please, can you share uh, about your initiatives, uh, the incredible work you are doing, not only in Nigeria, but globally in the cancer field, and what you would like to share with us today on International Childhood Cancer Day? Onko Daily for this uh, organizing this very first Onkathon. Uh, the intention to focus on childhood cancer and to support them. Um, as you've heard my introduction, I'm a pediatrician by training and a cancer foundation, which is based in Nigeria. Uh, the pillars of awareness treatment supports, patient navigation, palliative care, capacity building and training, and especially advocating for policies around cancer control. So this um, makes us focus nationally on issues that have to do with cancer, particularly in the low middle income disparities that exist. When you talk about childhood cancer, for us in Africa, it's full of the disparities that we can share, I think followed by or oh, adult cancer. The reason for this is that we still have such poor outcomes despite the therapy for a lot of the 
uh, childhood cancers and the uh, only 25% uh, have a survival rates in most of Africa and other low middle income countries. In some areas, it's even less. Things that we try to focus on working with the government to try to include diagnostic drugs in access programs. There are national and access programs that through which patients are able to get patients. Uh, but initially, the child cancers were not involved. But now we working with different partners with income coming from development. Uh, larger hospitals, we had a workshop for the St. Jude's Nigeria with their programs. We had a workshop just a couple of weeks ago that were putting in to try to understand the context of childhood cancer and to prioritize the solutions that we There's a lot going on, a lot more than we used to have. Of course, the capacity of healthcare professionals, whether we're talking about the doctors, the nurses, the x-rays, is not at where it should be. And this is what leads to diagnosis. The clinical, the degree of diagnosing infectious diseases is much, much higher than for us. Uh, so we have been working with a lot of the uh, medical routers, the nurses and, and so on to try to increase step up the training. There are a lot, lot of civil society organizations and um, training institutions that, that are doing the same thing. So it's helping us a little, little bit and little steps along side as we try to increase and make sure that the medications are provided on the access programs and then of the doctors as well and all the health professionals that were able to uh, get outcomes. It's definitely not where it should be. Uh, we, we have a lot of uh, add on that some political instability and all. the big elephants financial uh, for most families Families out of pocket spending is really high. There's no insurance for how much more child we can. So, in a nutshell, this uh, something in Nigeria trying to advocate, be an advocate for Chasa. We work with to try. I think my connection has been lost. Can you hear me? Frozen. He yes, yes, uh, Your Excellency, we can hear you. Okay, my connection Sometimes was lost. connectivity was going and coming, but so I'll yeah, we we'll receive your message. So a little bit. That's okay. In uh, different parts Sorry. of the world, the connectivity is I mean, <laughs> lagging behind. Sometimes we also have this problem. I don't know. Usually, internet here is very good, but today. We had some crazy internet, but that's okay. Thank you very much for your uh, wonderful message. And I'm yes. going to, we, we certainly uh, heard your message and thank you very much for that. And I'm going to give the floor to uh, Ms. Esther Demirjan to share her perspective about, uh, about what we are doing and her message on International Childhood Cancer Day and uh, about the Global Oncotone. Good afternoon. Uh, it is definitely a great honor for me to be part of this really esteemed group. Uh, I want to thank you because three of you are doctors and I want to thank you, three of you, and of course all the other doctors for the amazing work you guys do. And of course, Professor, I want to compliment you on this amazing initiative where you have united so many passionate advocates and people who are really caring and people who are really doing their best to help survivorship increase, to help children who are fighting cancer all over the world. Because 
um, I think experience and our knowledge sharing and everything that we do definitely proves that we share so many common problems and so many common issues that we are fighting, no matter which part of the world we live in. And um, by uniting our efforts, I truly believe that, yes, we can achieve better results, we can make it better, we can really one day hopefully achieve when really no can no child dies of cancer at least without given being given a chance to be cured um as professor tamaman has mentioned i lead the foundation that supports children and young adults in armenia through the age of 25 and we fully fund their treatment in armenia and literally every single child that has cancer in Armenia is our beneficiary um, because we are also one of the developing countries. So out of pocket expenses are uh, unbearable for the 95% of our population. So if it wasn't for the foundation, unfortunately, we would have had huge abandonment rate, but we're lucky enough to have really a great community, generous donors who are supportive of the cause and help us um, in supporting the kids that need the care and 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 treatment, um, the foundation has um, has been really instrumental in the way that we really want to develop and um, see prosper the oncology and hematology in Armenia, as um, um, as one of the disciplines, right? And um, that is why we try to support our doctors and medical staff in educational aspect in starting to do new uh, procedures which haven't been done in Armenia, such as, for example, bone marrow transplantation, which we have started doing recently. And it is a huge achievement for a country like ours because previously our children had to travel to other countries to get this procedure done. And we all understand that this implies, first of all, logistical issues, but then huge financial issues as well, which not always are bearable for the families. And um, um, our foundation has been funding all of the kids. Uh, in Armenia, we have about 100 new cases every year. I understand that this number might sound very small for you guys, but for a country like ours, where total population is nearly around 3 million, 100 kids a year is quite a big number. And um, um, hopefully we don't see increase in that number, but just see the decrease. However, I do understand that this, my wish is not really realistic, no matter how much we want this. But at least um, what we can do by joining our efforts, by raising our voices all together is definitely the, uh, the fact that we can ensure, we can do our best to make sure that every single child does get the best available care at the moment in the given country. And hopefully this best available care will be equal around the developed countries and underdeveloped countries, because um, I believe children have the right to the best medicine and treatment. Thank you very much, Ms. Demircian. Uh, thank you very much for the incredible work you are doing and for all your support. Um, uh, your Excellency, to conclude the session, I would like you, you to give a final uh, message for, for this uh, specific session. Uh, for, for this global oncoton and for the International Childhood Cancer Day. So I'll be quick. Uh, I think it's just us end by saying childhood cancer is preventable with certain steps. It's preventable if we detect it early and treat it promptly. Uh, cancer can be treated and once we know the risk, the children are our future and we must continue to invest in their health. No child should be allowed to I think Dr. Zainab wanted to say that no child should be without treatment. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much for joining and being with us today. Thank uh, you. Uh, thanks a lot. Thank and you. To, to the public, again, we are pleased. Uh, you see the on the, at the bottom line the donation, uh, and let's just spread the news about it and. Yeah. Uh, let's help to support the uh, this um, uh, very noble mission of Oncoeros Biosciences. Thank you very much. Let's Thank continue. you and great, great initiative. Thank you.
Thanks. Thank you. Okay.